Okay guys, I'm going to do a video here at um, 149th Street on the 6th, southbound 6th. Um, I'm going to go back to um, Hutt's Point. I wanted to give y'all a video to show you this, exactly. This is what it's going to show you on all of the PACIS systems at every station. So now you can see it tells you because of construction and rehabilitation on two stations in the Bronx, two stations are not in service at this time until September. So this shows you because they've been working on this system in the Bronx a little bit longer than the rest of the city, they have this one up and running a lot um, more efficient than they do at the other stations. So this is a idea of what I was telling y'all how the system will work opposed to um, just showing you the time the train should be here to count down to the next train. This will also show you when the train is not running at a certain station, when is um, uh, service destruction, something wrong with the system, whatever it may be this will give you it on this display here. Um, because it's construction over the weekend, you'll be able to read it before you even get on the train. You can be outside the um, turnstile. There's a board there as well. And it will show you, okay, there's a, trains are going express. They pass that station. Or um, uptown. So if your return trip is coming to that station and it's not stopping there, before you even know if you're not reading the signs that are on the wall posted showing you the trains... Um, um, the over the weekend trains um, changes due to construction it will show you it right here you just wait a few seconds or so and it was um, prompt up real quick it will show you what's going on what train is doing what and what to do to get back to that station pretty simple something that the system has never had now we do have for those people that complain that there's not enough signs or they didn't know what to do there was no announcement made by the, the train crew or what have you. Being that these are all R142s, all these trains are um, very clear when they make the announcements on the train, but this is also helping people find out the information prior to getting on the train. It shows you here, it shows you outside the um, turnstile at the fair um, area. So people that say, oh, this is no good because I want to be on the platform waiting and I already paid my fare. That won't be true because you will be able to come down the stairs prior to paying your fare. You will be able to see what's going on in your system prior to even paying your fare. And then once you get on the platform, if you consider yourself lucky and you don't have to worry about it, it will show you what to do on your return trip. So if you get on at 149th Street and your train is not going to stop here on the way back uptown because of weekend construction, like north of Hutch Point, the train is going express past all of um, the local stops all the way up to um, Parchester 177, you'll know that it's not going to stop at any one of your stops and this is what you got to do to um, get back to it. Take the train up to 177 and return on the local. So this is the way it's working. I want to make the a video. Local six train to Brooklyn Bridge City Hall will arrive in nine minutes. I want to um, do some videos of um, um, the North Station, North of um, Hudson Point. Hudson Point, I, I saw was on. I did a video. Sadly enough. It got um, distorted. I don't know why. My phone Ladies and gentlemen, didn't work right. Construction. Power Bay Park Bound 6 train are running on the express track between Hunts Point Avenue and Power Bay Park. For local stations, transfer at Parkchester or Power Bay Park for the Manhattan Bound 6 train making all local stops. Once again, that's exactly how it works. It's audible, clear. I know you heard it clear because I, I heard it clear. And it's also visual on the boards.
So that's how all of them are going to turn out to be over the coming months as they work on the systems at other stations. So now you'll be able to know what to do with your system. I want to do more videos. I want to go back to Hus Point to let you see how it looks at Hus Point. Hus Point, I was there at the rush hour yesterday, but I didn't get to record it because I was on my way to work. Now I want to be doing a video there. I did one. Once again, my phone camera didn't um, uh, record it correctly, so I want to sadly enough have to go back to do it again. So stay tuned to the other videos. I was going to try to stay here to show you the next arriving train. Um, but it's six minutes away. I guess I can stay. No, actually I'm not. Sad. Um, I don't want to go past um, ten minutes. And I'm at six minutes and fifteen seconds. So if I go anymore, it'll be twelve minutes and that would be too long for YouTube and that's where I'm posting all my videos until I get my own site so stay tuned for more videos um, once again this system is more advanced than the rest of the city because this one has been um, under construction for oh, just about 9-10 years I remember I live in this area when I seen this board go up I was a part of the um, my school I was in Samuel Gompers High School was actually um, at 143rd Street Station. We were forcing the MTA to come out with a way for students to know, not just students, but you know, people in general to know when the trains are coming. It was a big thing back then. Um, it was a part of the bridge, um, bridging the digital divide. Um, this is why this system is here. The digital divide was uh, back in 2000, 2001. So it was a big thing then, and I do remember when they first put these systems up, these boards up, but they were never in service, of course. And that was a very long time ago now. That was back in 2001 that I remember seeing these at these stations. They said it should have been done by 2005, but of course you know what the problems were. It ran into glitches. So... Um, So now that they finished working on all the problems and all the financial and the glitches, now this system is up and working. Stay tuned for my next following video.